Hi, good afternoon. This is John again. Today I'm going to do a review on two LED supposed grow lights from eBay. So um, let me just check these out and we'll go through what each one is. One's better than the other, one is twice the wattage. Anyhow, we'll check it out. Okay, as you can see, this first fellow here. In fact, I'm going to pull the camera back. All right, this is the the first LED light fixture. It's um, 12 inches by 12 inches by approximately, I would say that's about an inch and a half, two inches with the little screw on the back. Now then, this is 225 LEDs. Can you believe that? All right, 225, you would think, excellent. We'll want to get some serious light out of that. You would think, wouldn't you? Now, this is such a popular light fixture that uh, they don't even put a name on it. So does that mean that they're a little bit embarrassed by it or something? Let's just see what it says. Okay, that's your Made in China sticker. It comes with uh, four little eye holes there to mount it and hang it from whatever you're going to hang it from the ceiling or whatever and it comes <laughs> with a piece of ribbon actually two pieces of ribbon with hooks at either end just to click into these little just click into that like that okay all right try again right see how it's all just clicked in there no problem same with this side you just click that on like that and lift it up and there's another one somewhere and that just lifts this guy up so far so good 12 inches is quite a large cross section for a light fixture you get a light a plant under there no problem plants just like humans require a certain amount of power to make them grow so what I'll do here is I want to plug this in and you, you'll notice that talking about build quality this is basically just a board with lots of holes drilled in it and an LED pushed through each one there's not even a reflector on the LEDs or nothing which I don't know if that's good or bad I would think it's probably bad because you a lot of uh, light dissipation happening so what I'll do is we'll plug it in, we'll see what we get out as far as light goes. This is the watt meter and uh, we'll plug that in and see how that works. Alright, so what we've got here is zero volts. That's the amps. Did you ever see that? 118 volts sorry there we go power factor one hertz 60 volt amps zero and watts zero so what i'll do is i'm going to plug this guy in here and see how, how she looks oh look at that man i mean i would say that's quite impressive it's impressive She's pulling, as you see, 14.6 watts, which is wonderful. Uh, that's not pulling, you're not going to lose much power and pay much on your electricity bill with that. But unfortunately, this is not enough light to grow a plant. I almost had two plants die on us by using this one fixture because it's only 14.5 watts now then if you count all these LEDs it comes to 225 according to the advert so if you've got 225 LEDs and you divide that by 14.7 watts right you're going to get 0 0.06 watts per LED yes that's right 0 0.06 watts per LED 
you know that's that's no power at all um this light fixture was expensive too well i thought um it was 17 dollars and 29 cents and i bought three of them which brought it to 51 dollars and 87 cents give me a break i'm just see i just, I don't know too much about light spectrums. At least I didn't until I bought this. Then I did some research. So uh, that is my opinion about that. The colours are uh, red, blue, orange and white. Um, the spectrum doesn't seem bad. It's just there's not enough power. Just to let you know that if you're going to try and grow any plants at all, don't try and grow it with only 14 watts. It ain't enough. Anyhow, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. The next one's going to be twice as powerful, the next fixture. the tomato sprouts I'm going to put half of them under fluorescent lighting it's a what 18 inch t5 tube and these look really good and then the rest of them I'm going to put back under this LED light and let's do a comparison between the two methods of lighting This is day two of the separation of the two lots of tomatoes seeds. These are grown under this fluorescent light here. We'll see how that works against these guys who are now growing, well, under the LED lights. They look all right. We'll see how what happens. The um, coriander's doing great. I'm gonna separate that too. But what I'm trying to do is establish how good these tomato starts grow compared to these that are growing under the fluorescent 